I hope that was the end of it. Something was crawling out of his throat, like a butterfly ripping out of his cocoon. It teared out of his headless body. Wings, yellow body, jaws that gnawed his body. Something that I would never want to see again. Something that I wouldn't want to accept as a living thing. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Lobotomy Corporation. I'm your host, the Bud, known as Falcon. We're in day number 17, very close to the end. I'm still recording after the last three episodes now. I'm tired, I want to take a break, but unfortunately I need to wrap this up here today. Otherwise, I have a chance to lose my progress again thus far, which is no good. So, we have a new abnormality, well not a new abnormality, but we do have a new abnormality in theory, which is Snow White's Apple, which apparently spawned and Plague Doctor instantly decided to switch spots with her. So I think we're good to go here, let us start off as per usual. Um, with Snow White here, it means we also have to read her story, because I don't think I've read Snow White's story before, so we will be reading that here today, soon enough. Um, let's start off with a new, oh we have a, um, the success rate is actually kind of high in the B. Let's send Joel to do the observation, because whether he succeeds or fails, he can just turn around and start feeding it anyway. And then over here, um, I'm not sure what happened at the end of last episode, but the nameless fetus decided to chomp down on the room, or it was about to, and then the day ended. So I'm not sure what that means for us, but Susan, good luck again. I hope it doesn't decide to bite down this time. And then Big Bird, you get amused by... Let's say Maritza, probably, and over here we feed you with Nicole. And it's about it, okay. So that's cool. Now you, oh, we have an observation for you, really? I'm not done with your story? Oh, the final one! Well, hell, let's do it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember what choice I picked last time, because I know, I, I think I failed it the first time around. You see and feel something. The soil is solid. A little bird is sitting beside me. No, it is not a bird. It is a rotting, decaying carcass of a bird. Nothing is around me. The prince came to wake sleeping Snow White up with a kiss. The deadly poison can melt a bone with a drop, proved to be useless. Why, why no one visits me? Why no one share my pain? Why no one likes me? You're, you're forgetting a dust in there. Why does no one like me would be more appropriate here. I hope I had legs. No, it doesn't have to be legs. All I want is to be able to move. Oh, redemption. Does not exist? This is unfair. I want to be happy. It's too painful to wait. It is my bane that no one is around me. I want this misery to crush me to non-existence. Some kind of leg sprouted out of me, but I have no place to go. However, I do not rot. I cannot stop existing. I have to go, although I have no place to go. I have to go. I go. Yeah, we got it! Sweet! Okay, so now we have the entire story which we're reading here today, so perfect. It worked out just splendidly for us then, cool. Um, so let's um, get over here and do a beating as soon as possible. We're gonna do a beating with... Um, I don't think it really matters the gender, right? They're all principalists, so we'll just do one with Ramirez, maybe? Sure. Uh, Magical Girl, you're in a good mood. Amuse you with... Oh, uh, boy. I guess Michaela. Sure. Old lady needs a talking to. Send Alex for that one. Good. Now, over here, you, as always, get cleaned by Hunter. Scorch Girl need its beating from... <laughs> Level 2 people, huh? I'm gonna have to go with the pacifist on this one. Beating with... Uh, let's do... Xavier, and then over here we'll have a communicate. Oh! Damn it. Okay. So you are actually gonna get beat down by... Not Xavier, but Reinhardt, because I need Xavier for that. Okay. Over here, um... As I've mentioned, I could ignore the 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 f woman facing the wall. I don't think it's a really big trouble for doing that. I don't have to beat her down, but I will with Tim, and I'm gonna risk feeding the plague doctor. I'm gonna risk feeding it. I normally always clean it; it's always a, a no problem. But I haven't tried feeding it before. I don't think. Let's give it a try with Joy here. Don't you dare screw me, plague doctor. Okay, let's unpause. With any luck, we get that observation done with Queen B and getting more to her story as well. And let's speed it up here a little bit. Observation is gonna be... Success, very cool. And now turn around, turn around, Joel, and feed the thing. Okay. And let me just make sure we're not gonna run into any problems with this fetus, and then we'll go ahead and start reading the Snow White story. Because last time, this fetus tried to bite down on me. So, 
I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Come on, come on. Okay, cool, cool. It's very happy now. Very nice. Um, so, how you doing, Susan? You're looking pretty good. Not too much mental damage there. So, we should keep feeding it for now. Um, Nicole's level 4. I think that would work, too. Sure, we'll send Nicole in there for a feeding. Susan, go rest up a little bit. Everybody else is fine. Well, let's just do the chat with Xavier. Snow White's in a fantastic mood, oddly enough. Okay. And the feeding with Plague Doctor worked as well. Very cool. So now I can just do a cleaning with Tim if I want to, and let's go and start reading the Snow White story, which is now complete for us as well. Not a long story, doesn't seem. Real time? Okay. With the princess kiss, the apple that was blocking Snow White's throat came out of her mouth. Elves shouted with delight, Snow White and the prince walked in the flowery road to their kingdom, and they lived happily ever after. However, there was an apple, molded with the witch's rage and curse. Actually, you know what? I already read this one too. Yeah. So I did read a couple of them in season number one. I thought I, I didn't read a thing, but no, no, this is actually really familiar. Yeah. Um, so you know what, guys? I'm not going to read that. Um, if anything, I'll pause and let me just scroll here. If you are new to the series or new to the channel, um, you can check out season one where I read this one already. But otherwise, I'll just go and scroll slowly. And you guys can pause and read to your own volition here if you want to. But I have done this one already, so... I'm pretty sure that gave you enough time to pause and read if you needed to. Alright, anyway, let's come over here and do a beating with, um, Ramirez, sure. And... you need to be cleaned yet again. Hunter, Scorch Girl, beating with... Ah, uh, Griffin's got the HP for it, so sure. You need to be cleaned now, Reinhard. And you fed again by... Could send Joel back in there. Susan's normally the one I use for feed it, so let's send Maritza up here. Okay. Oh, old lady. Old lady, communicate with old lady. Send... Hallen, I guess? Sure. Okay. And keep an eye on the uh, magical girl who very randomly just starts getting going insane here a little bit. Uh, she's in a good mood, so we'll amuse her with Michaela, I guess. Okay, cool. Everything's looking pretty good thus far. Oh, we have uh, another observation of that fetus. Excellent. Excellent. I really want to get the entire story of the new um, things, too. So... Right now, we have two more spots for Abnormality, so maybe we get the third Abnormality, the new one. Otherwise, um, we're going to have to do another run. I'm not sure if I'll do another run immediately. Uh, number one, I need to wait for the fix for this um, agent disappearing thing I told you guys about. I need to wait for a fix for that. But after I'm done with this one, I'm not sure if I'll do one immediately, or maybe just wait for another big update with new content. We'll see. Um, let's see. You guys let me know how you feel about that. Um... You over here, Tim, handle the beatdown. You need to be fed again. We'll send... I think Nicole's going to be fine for that, and everything else is fine. Okay, we're almost done with the day here. Oh, you are... Growing a little bit unhappy, are you, one Sid? Yeah, you are, buddy. Oh, God! Okay, this thing's over here pissed off. I guess we'll observe it next day. Right now, we're almost done with the day, so I'd rather make sure it's not going to do anything crazy on us, so let's send Susan in there again. Hopefully it doesn't bite down <laughs> towards the end of the day like last time. And then you... Ooh, Maritza, you took a little bit of mental damage with this bird or something. Oh, no, no, you were a, you were feeding the Queen Bee. Right. Well, I think you should be fine for amusing the bird. Oh, lady needs a talking to. Holland and you, once again. Beating with Ramirez, everything else is looking all right. You also a beating with. Oh, I guess we can't even have to use Griffin here. The pacifist, the pacifist fighting beating dude, and then over here Hunter. Okay, and you fed with Joy, and we're fine. Okay, we're done anyway. Got it. Got it. All good. Very cool. Eight points gained. A couple of more promoted agents, and we're coming into day number eighteen. So yeah, I think I should have enough time. Assuming nothing terrible happens, we should be able to beat the game again. I'm not sure there's a new ending involved, too. Speaking of which, um, I've mentioned this in the past, I'm pretty sure I did, but in case I did not, um, the game is not complete yet, the story isn't. So what we saw is just basically a placeholder, the, the ending in Season 1. So the story is still being developed, is what I read. So it's not over just yet, but what's available now is just a placeholder into the rest of the game that's completed. Um, so, we got the max observation with the Snow White as well, connection termination, and day number 18. Okay. So, who's new? 
Okay, you're not a new abnormality, we know all about you. As a matter of fact, you're the last dude I read. We read his story before we had to restart because of my agents disappearing. But yeah, that's the last thing I remember um, in the last video I recorded that went live before this new batch of videos here. So, we already have read your story too. Um, and you are relatively easy to take care of. Um, you do physical damage, huh? Amusement works too. I have 12 points right now. Is there anything I can unlock with research? Let's see. Fully recovering. Um, oh, we could do another mental training for that or physical. I think um, we've been doing fine with mental. I mean, we've been doing... I, we really haven't had too much issues where we had, like, physical damage. So I don't think we even need that. If anything, just go with this one again. Right? Faster level ups? Do I need faster level ups at this point, though? Like, two days away. Let me do mental training again. I think most of the things that we've been dealing with have been doing a lot of mental damage. So if we reduce that, you know, we could do a lot better. So that's cool. No more points. Let's see here. So for you, I need an amuser. I mean, I have that here in a sense, but um, they're low leveled. I could probably pull somebody. I don't think Hal has been doing anything for us in the information team. So, let's remove you and place you here. And what I'll do, I guess, is we'll try to amuse this guy with how. You continue feeding the Plague Doctor and Tim continues beating this thing. And just um, rotating whenever we need it. Is that good? That's fine. Seems fine. Yeah, okay. So, start. Oh, and you, don't we have to do an observation? Yeah, but before we observe it, we have to feed it. Otherwise, who knows what's going to do. So let's start off with Susan feeding, who's level 5 now. You get fed by Joel. You get fed by... Um, uh, oh boy. Uh, Nicole, sure. And then over here, amused by Maritza. Cool. Have a talk with Helen, I believe. You need a beat down by Ramirez down here. You're in a good mood, so we amuse you with Michaela. Okay. I like how this is all like, since I'm doing this all in one sitting, there's less of a chance for me to forget, so everything's kind of like mental memory at this point. It's great. Um, I'll get back to you, hold on. You obviously get cleaned by Hunter. What about you? Beating by Xavier. I think. Chad with Griffin, and then you beating by the pacifist Reinhardt. Well, he's level 3 at least, so whatever, that'll do. Okay, Plague Doctor. Get fed by Joy. You get amused by How, and then beat down by Tim. Okay. And the moment we hopefully pacify this nameless feed is we start doing the the research here. And I think we might as well start reading some of the story on Queen Bee, because I think we've done like three researches on it already, so I think we should have some story available now. Assuming anything terrible happens right now, so come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Susan. Yeah. Cool. So, Susan, before you run off, it's going to be a half-half chance for success, but let's give it a try. Susan, turn around. Try to get the observation done here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Joel. Or this thing's going to be fed again. Mm. And Joel seems to be in a good... Yeah, wow. I think our mental training and Joel's level is making it so that the mental damage is so minimal now. Great. Turn around and feed it again. And we succeeded! Nice! Alright. And you should be fed. I could do it with Susan again, but I'll give her a little rest. Let's send Nicole in there. Alright. I'm glad that we got the uh, extra training for mental defense. I think that's helping us out quite a bit now. Now you... You... Let's see. Tim, get in there. The, the woman facing the wall is in a really good mood anyway, so we should be fine. Let's send Hal for the amusement down here. And you do a beat down once again. Oh, wow. Was that you hurting Xavier? Man, she does a ton of um, physical damage, doesn't she? So Griffin over here instead. You need to be clean this time. We could use, uh, I guess, Reinhardt for that one. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to slow it down because I want to read on Queen Bee. Oh, wow. We have a lot of the stuff. You know what? I think we're very close to finishing up Queen Bee's... Oh, we have like two more observations to do. Wow, that's a lot. Well, let's do this one here first, a smaller one. As Queen Bee was in a bad mood rating, she spatted a little red spore into the containment room. Thank God we haven't seen that. 
as Spore of Bee Queen Bee was stuck to the yummy employee who was working in a, a containment room full of spores. The translation here is going to be a little bit rough here, guys. Um, hold up. Beat down by... Ramirez. Um, communicate. Um, Holland, sure. You need to be amused again. Go down there. Alex, this time. You're cool, you're cool, you're cool. Oh, we have another observation again from Queen Bee. You know what? Forget the caretaking, I'm gonna read the description. After we get that observation, because I maybe it'll give us the rest of the story. We'll see. Um, and you need to be cleaned by Hunter. So once, assuming he doesn't go into like good mood, we should be able, oh, it's in a good mood, damn. I was hoping we could just turn around and just do the observation. It's in a good mood, so we have to wait now. All right, so once we are able to do our observation, hopefully we get the entire story of Queen Bee. Alrighty, nice. We're doing a lot of good progress here when it comes to like opening up the, the story and the lore of all these monsters, so that's actually good. Look at our power, too. Like, we are just accumulating power so fast. And then, um, you needed to get a beat down by Timbo. I'll just feed you with joy for now. You're in a good mood. You're being amused, beating, beating. You're fine. Oh, you need a, a chat here, do ya? Ah, go for it, Xavier. And you should probably be fed as well. Let's send... Nicole. Okay. Speed it up. Good, 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 good. Everything good, everything fine. Oh! Amuse the bird. Somebody amuse the bird. Maritza, get over there and amuse that bird. You're cool. You apparently need another beatdown. Since the shoes are in a great mood, let's send Hunter for the beatdown here really quickly. And everything else seems fine. Magical girl, you leave that person alone. You stop doing your mental damage over there. Okay, cool. She's in a good mood, too. Alright, here we go. So you're neutral at the moment. Can I... Oh, the final observation! Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I don't know a thing about her, so you normally get the right choice or know about the choice once you get the final, um, once you read the entire story. It gives you an idea what you should be choosing here, but since I haven't read it just yet, uh, let's just try to get in there and take a guess. There was one summer so hot and unpleasant. Bees were busily flying around the beehive. They lived for the only one queen. Are they happy, living only to work? I asked myself. Then someone answered. For live with loyalty? I'm not sure if this is supposed to be love or to live. Okay. Um, let's go with loyalty. A loyalty that bees possess is a natural instinct. If we find a way to control that instinct, things will change. It is years later that I found out that their unshakable loyalty is because of a special pheromone, which only the queen can produce. Everything started when I began to study that pheromone. Hey, we got it. Sweet. All right. That was just a random chance there, but we got it. Cool. So the entire story of Queen Bee is now unlocked to us. We will read that here pretty soon. But right now, we have to feed you with Joe, and then you need to be fed by Susan as soon as possible. Everything else is fine? Yes, it does seem everything is fine. So, let's see here. Do we have enough time for this? I think we do. Since, let's, um, all right, hold up. Let's wait till that thing's almost filled up. And we pause and we read the entire story of the Queen Bee here. There we go. Okay, we'll read the entire thing and then that'll be it. Um, let's see. So, it takes shape of a huge beehive merged with a bee. The cross section has black and red color like raw meat, and particles are big enough to be visible with naked eyes. It has wings, but they don't see the function. In its twisted and distorted face, the only intact eye moves as if it watches intruders. Only this abnormality seems to lack a capability of traveling. Um, you know what? Since we're reading about this and we're almost done, let's actually zoom in here so you guys get a better look at what this thing's all about, what I'm reading here. <laughs> look, we're we're handing it a fucking plate of, like, you know, mashed potato or... That looks like a baked potato and, like, maybe rice or something. That's hilarious. Alrighty. In right condition, it starts spreading spores. Hundreds of billions of spores erupt around a 20 meter or mile, I guess, radius. It is assumed that a presence of life form in its vicinity is one of the requirements. No immediate symptom is observed from the employee inhaled the spore. Also, we could not detect any kind of unusual sign after running a few tests on the employee. However, after a while, the employee started complaining of severe pain of the head and the stomach, 
After a certain amount of time, the employee's head severed from its body. From the body, the abnormality, the abnormality working bee crawled out. What? There's abnormality working bees too? We confirmed that the spores contained the abnormality's eggs and they hatch inside of an organism's body. After the autopsy of the deceased employee, we found that the larvae devoured everything, from blood to fat, even the organs. When it grows big enough to the point it can no longer move inside of the body, it forms a cocoon in the vicinity of an organ. When this happens, the host suffers from extreme malnutrition and hunger, resulting in more ingestive food than usual. As it grows to imago, it moves up and damages arteries and cricothyroid, which with its solid mandibles, ah, eventually cutting the head off of the body and crawl out, forcibly widening the throat. Oh, God. That is gruesome, dude. I hate bugs. Especially inside of your body. Counseling record employee redacted. All of a sudden, I heard someone being ripped. It sounded like a paper, but much more unfamiliar. Then with a thud, his head fell to the ground. Of course, with a thud, his head was not a basketball. I hope that was the end of it. Something was crawling out of his throat, like a butterfly ripping out of his cocoon. It teared out of his headless body. Wings, yellow body, jaws that gnawed his body. Something that I would never want to see again. Something that I wouldn't want to accept as a living thing. Oh, my God, talk about the description when it comes to these things getting out of the body, huh? It had no eyes but perceived me somehow. But it had no reason to attack me then. Because it flew off with the head spewing blood out of its throat and its legs like a working bee carrying honey to a beehive. I can still hear its jaws shattering and flopping wings. Working bee. Though it is assumed that it belongs to the same category of the queen bee, it has eight legs, and capable of hovering about. I'm above the ground. The distinction between the head, thorax, and abdom abdomen is clear. Unlike the queen bee, it does not have antennas or eyes. Unknown object resembling an organ is dragged by the tail. It shows only two behaviors. Delivering food to the queen bee and reproducing. When encountered with an employee, it mashes his or her head with its mandibles and inserts cocoons inside the body. Nope, 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 nope. Do not like it. You, my friend, are never ever getting upset in my fucking facility because if you're gonna be doing that, I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna be a part of that shit. Fuck no. All right. We are done here with today, guys. Next episode, we come back, and I want to say we hopefully get enough to get the observation done with Nameless Fetus, and we're on a clear way to wrapping up the game yet again for Season 2. We are missing one new abnormality, and as I mentioned, I might do another run after this one um, to just try to get the new abnormality. Maybe I do one video showing the abnormality alone, or either way, I have to wait for this update to come in that's going to fix the... Uh, disappearing agents anyway, but um, let's see here before we wrap it up. This is new when a queen bee is found out to be incompetent Working bees prepare an execution for their queen. The execution is not brutal nor violent. She is a loyalty after all a hundred of working bees embrace the queen bee and slowly suffoc- All right, because we're so close to the end already. Well, the current end anyway. Yeah, I know I got it Yeah, I was reading the story about the the bee thing, which was actually kind of cool Yeah, I know about that um, a hundred of working bees embrace the queen bee and slowly suffocate her to death. It is called Cuddle Death. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.